Hello there. Today uh, I'm going to show you how to join a computer to an Active Directory domain. So let me log into the domain controller. Um, there's one thing that's a little different about joining a computer to a domain than joining a a person to a domain is that uh, you can quite easily uh, join the computer domain without ever logging into the server but uh, it's still recommended to create the computer account before you uh, you wind up joining it to the domain so let me uh, click on Active Directory users and computers the reason why it's important is because if you join a computer to the domain it's going to go into the wrong container in Active Directory if you do it's going to wind up by default going into the computers but you may want it to go into a different machine such as a uh, into a different container such as this uh, this organizational unit the difference is is uh, you can see the little folder here has a little icon on it the computers does not the difference is is that I can have active I can have a group policy on this organizational unit whereas this container will not have the option to put a group policy on it but uh, and if you're not using group policy then why do you use an active directory honestly um, so let me right click and I'm going to make a uh, new computer and the computer name is going to be uh, Windows 7 okay Ah, oh, it's already in use. Let's try Win7. That'll work. Alright, so I've got a computer here. Let me look at its properties. Uh, there are several tabs here that I can configure, such as um, member of a particular group. Yes, computers can go into groups. Uh, dial in whether or not it's allowed to VPN in. Uh, who manages the machine? This is not who manages it in Active Directory. It's generally who actually works at this machine, who's uh, uses this machine on a frequent basis. Its location, and uh, I can delegate control to this computer, but I don't want to do that either. I just want to join it to the domain. So uh, let me go over here, and I think its name actually is Windows 7. Let's see, my computer properties. Advanced System Settings, Computer Name, Win7. Yeah. So on a on a Windows XP machine, you can just click and then right click My Computer and go to Properties, and it'll lead you to this screen. So uh, its name is Win7, and you can see it's currently part of a work group. So what I'm going to do is click Change, and uh, the domain, and the domain is my dot domain and uh, it wants a username and password which my uh, domain administrator is techno logical and put in the password and it should uh, authenticate there we go it's gonna want to reboot yes and now when I come back over here to Active Directory Users and Computers, continue, click OK there and close there and then restart. It'll want to restart. So I can see Windows 7, Win 7 and uh, the operating system is version 6.1, Windows 7 Ultimate. So it populated some of those fields. But uh, that's the main reason why you want to create a computer account is so that you can have group policy over it. Uh, the machine's rebooting, so I'm going to pause the video here and we'll pick it up here in a minute. Okay, so it's rebooted and we're back to the uh, login screen, so let me click on it. Control-Alt-Delete. And uh, 
It's one to log in locally. You can tell by Win7 is the name of the machine and Techno is the user. But I want to switch user and other user. And I want to log on to the domain. The name of my domain is my.domain. But uh, I can just get by with my and then slash and then the username. Technological and the password. And it will allow me to uh, log into the domain. And you can see it's preparing my desktop because it's the first time I've logged into the machine. So this will take a minute. Okay, so now we're here at the desktop. I paused the video to show you that. And um, you can see it's got Technological, which is the person I logged into on the domain. Another interesting thing about it is uh, if I look at people that I have, I can take a person such as uh, Stavro or Rob McKenna and uh, I can actually limit which computers he's allowed to log on to. So I can do following computers and Win7. So now Rob's only allowed to log on to Win7. Okay, apply. Okay. So that's a cool trick. Anyway, uh, hopefully this has taught you something about the video. And, uh, you know, you'll get to play with the server more for it. So uh, you should try this on your own Server 2008 and Windows 7 machine. Thank you for watching.